Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you along for the process of making a spell bag for healing. The spell bag is very specific and will use specific ingredients and a specific sigil. Though I'm showing you my process, please always keep in mind that this is not the only way to create spell bags and I recommend creating your own. Please also don't use my sigil for your spell bag. This sigil is highly specific to my specific surgery and situation, and it just won't work for you. Anyway, I've gathered my ingredients and I like to make the bag myself too. I use the opportunity while sitting down and crocheting to perform a bit of knot magic. While I crochet back and forth, looping yarn together and weaving it in and out, my intention and my purpose is ever present in my mind. The energy that I want to have in this bag is being created and added to with the specific colors I have chosen. I was very drawn to this purple color for this particular spell bag. I usually let my intention guide me with colors and herbs, though they do tend to make sense. For this bag, I have gathered calendula, lavender, salt, and a bit of coffee. I also have this purple chime candle that I'll be using. Now that the bag is mostly done, I'm going to create the sigil. As I said at the beginning, this sigil is highly specific to my situation and intentions. If you're going to recreate this spell bag, which is entirely okay, please create your own sigil. This sigil will not work for you, and I have left out the meaning of the sigil on purpose. After I have the sigil drawn up, I'm going to add it to the bag. The bag is small though, and the sigil needs to be folded. Going with the number three for good measure, I fold the paper in half toward me, rotating it to the right each time three times. This makes it small enough to fit in the bag, and it also brings the sacredness of the spiral and the number three into my spell. Folding the paper toward me is an act of sympathetic magic as I draw whatever it is that I'm drawing in my direction. Here we have calendula to promote physical healing. Lavender is to help calm my nerves and keep me calm and not have a panic attack. Salt for a bit of protection. and coffee as a catalyst for a speedy recovery. One thing I do need to do though is add a bit of paper to the bottom of my bag. This is just gonna keep the ingredients from coming out of those holes on the bottom there. Those are normal in crochet with the way that I made this and this step is optional. It's just gonna depend on your bag. It literally serves no other purpose than to keep all the ingredients from falling out. When I add the ingredients to the bag, I just add a small amount. I don't need a massive handful, just enough to add a pinch to the bag. Before I put the dried herbs in the bag though, I gently close my palm and say a prayer, asking the plant to aid me in my work. This is also a good time to be specific with the herb and let it know what you need from it. I do this with each ingredient. Calendula gets a prayer for physical healing. Lavender gets the prayer for calm nerves and easing anxiety. Salt gets a prayer of protection. And coffee gets a prayer of speed. And only a pinch is added. Trust me, you don't want to add too much coffee.
This next part is going to tie the spell bag specifically to me. I don't know if my doctor is going to let me carry this with me into surgery, so if not, I don't want whoever holds it for me to benefit from the bag. I drip a bit of wax onto the sigil, let it cool, and then place my thumbprint over the wax. Then the sigil gets added to the bag. Now it's time to close it up. I've left this long string of yarn here for that specific purpose, but it's going to serve another purpose too. First though, let's get a close up. Alright, the bag is now technically closed, but it isn't entirely sealed yet. I'm going to go in with this cream white colored yarn and sew it back and forth once, giving it the added protection and purity that this color brings to my spell work. Once that's been done, I'm going to braid the colors together. This is an added bonus of knot magic. Tying the threads of yarn together ensures that the bag stays closed, but it also makes it known that I want these specific threads to work together in a very specific way. Each thread is representative of something I want. And by braiding them together, they are now intertwined and will work cohesively. And that's it. I'll be charging this and doing a little more energy work with it over the course of the next few days, up until the day of my surgery. Now I just need to go have this surgery, rest, recover, and let you all know how it goes. A big shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you'd like to join me on Patreon, you can do so for as little as a dollar a month, and that link is in the description. Your support helps keep this channel up and running. Don't forget that I also have a Discord server and a Facebook group if you're looking for a witchy community. Until next time, everyone. Bye for now.